Hello. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to create a duplicate printer in your Windows 7 operating system and then use those two printers to create print priorities and then define access to those print priorities based on either time of day or by security group memberships. So let's get started. Let's start by opening up devices and printers by clicking on the start button and then devices and printers. You will see that here are my printers and faxes and Brickhouse Labs Canon printer is one of the installed devices. If I want to control access to this printer I can right click on the printer and left click on printer properties. If I click on the advanced tab I now have the ability to set time frames in which the printer is available. Right now it's set to always available. If I want to restrict when this printer can be utilized I can choose the available from button and then set a from time to a to time. This can be done for multiple reasons. A couple of them could be like this. You may have a print device that you only want people to be able to print on it while your office is open. For example, a color laser printer and you don't want people to come in evenings and weekends and print to the print device using a lot of your toner which could be costly for your company. The opposite example is a report printer. You might want to print reports on a printer that would take up a lot of time but the printer is also used for daily use settings. So you could create a special report printer and have that available from say 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. and people could print to that device all day long but it wouldn't send jobs to the actual print device until 10 p.m. For now we're going to go ahead and just move the bullet back to always available. So that's how you would control availability and timelines in which people can print to a printer. But let's say that you have another group of individuals that feels they should have higher priority to that print device. If I go ahead and add a printer and add a local printer on LPT1, which is where Brickhouse Labs Canon Printer is installed, and then click on Next, and then I'll use the same driver, Canon Inkjet MP620 series, and click on Next, I will use the driver that is currently installed and click on Next and now I need to give this printer a name. So I'm going to call it High Priority Brickhouse Labs Canon Printer and then click on Next and I'm installing this print device. I would like to share this printer right now and I will share it as high priority Brickhouse Labs Canon printer and click on next and I do not want it to be the default printer I'd like the regular priority printer to be default and then I'll click on finish. So I now have two printers in my Windows 7 operating system that are both configured to print to LPT1. If I right click on Brickhouse Labs Canon printer, I now have printer properties for either Brickhouse Labs Canon printer or high priority Brickhouse Labs Canon printer. If I choose Brickhouse Labs Canon printer first and go to the advanced tab, the priority is set to a priority of one. Most things we do in our Microsoft operating systems, a priority of one would be the highest priority there is. But that's not the case when it comes to printer priorities. A priority of one is the lowest priority and a priority of 99 is the highest priority. So Brickhouse Labs Canon printer has a low priority. It's a priority of one. Let's click OK. If I right click on Brickhouse Labs Canon printer and go to the printer properties for the high priority Brickhouse Labs Canon printer, go to the advanced tab 
and make this a priority two or higher. So I like to set a priority of 10. I'm not going all the way to 99. I'm just essentially building myself a buffer in between one and 10. As long as the high priority printer has a higher number, if two print jobs exist for one print device and one of the print jobs is in the high priority printer, that job will print before a job in the regular Brickhouse Labs Canon printer. So that is how you create printer priorities. Now, as a best practice, what I like to do on high priority printers, I like to go to the security tab and remove everyone from using a high priority printer. And I like to add a special group of people or an individual that has access to the high priority printer. So I've got a user account named Bobby and Bobby has access to print to the high priority people. In the real world it would probably be a group of users. But there's no sense building a high priority printer if everybody can print to it. So I would build a high priority printer for the high priority people. And that concludes my demonstration on how you would add a second identical printer and adjust the print priorities so a select group of users will have print priority over the other employees at your company. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.